Hello, I'm Bruce Yaney, and in this segment of Homemade Science, I'm going to take a look at a few more examples of variations of the classic sand pendulum. In previous videos, I've shown how to make this easy device, how to set it up, and how to get some very interesting patterns with it. Once you've learned the basics, now you can experiment changing the mediums. For example, you can use different colored sands. Or how about replacing the sand with something else? Alright, now here I have this large magnetic sheet and some iron filings. Let's see if we can get some crisper lines using this versus the sand on paper. Let me show you why we might want to change from sand to something else. Let's take a look at a single line of the sand pendulum. Now if we focus in on that, notice how wide the pattern is. The sand hits the table, it kind of bounces to about an inch wide pattern. Now here I have a magnetic sheet, we're going to place this down. Place a piece of paper over top of it. And now I'm going to replace that sand with iron filings. Once again, I'll let the pendulum go across the paper. And let's take a closer look at that single line. Notice how sharp the line is when we compare it back to the sand. I'm hoping this will give us patterns with a little bit cleaner definition. I'm covering the magnetic sheet with paper to keep the iron filings from sticking to it. And here's the setup for the string. Now let's give this a try. It looks like the iron filings give us a much more defined pattern. Much better than the sand. Let's try this again, but I'm going to shorten the upper string length. Once again, I think the iron filings gave us a much more defined picture than the sand does. Now let's go on and try it with paint. In this case, I'm using a single string. It's about one and a half meters long. My container to hold the paint is actually an old glue bottle. I can adjust the cap to vary the flow rate. Before I try this over paper, I'm going to adjust the thickness of the paint and the size of the hole to get a nice even flow. This looks pretty good. Let's go give this a try.
The initial trials look pretty good. I think I'll have to do some more experimentation with the string setup. The nice thing about using the paint is that after it dries, you can hang it on the wall. I want to thank you for stopping in and come back and see me again. All right, bye.